Hi everyone. Today I'm going to talk about uh, student t-test or simply the t-test. So I will tell you what a t-test is and how we can perform a t-test in Excel. And uh, believe me, before we um, uh, you watch this video, you might feel it's a very difficult, complicated test. Uh, but I can assure you that after you watch this video, you will feel that it's a really simple test. So let's see what the t-test is. So t-test is a simply a test, a statistical test, which tells you how significant the differences between two groups are. So let's say you have two different groups of data. Let's say it's uh, data A and data B. So here we have different values in the, both these data. So we want to see how different are these two groups. So one of the very easy way is just take an average. Let's say I take an average of this, which is 21.4. Then I take the average of uh, data B, which is 20. So if we have um, a look at this, so we might say, mm, well, that's uh, not much difference. Or, might you, or you can say uh, data A is uh, slightly better uh, than the data B. But in statistical term, uh, we don't know uh, whether there's any uh, difference or not. So we need a definite answer whether the data A is better than the data B or not. We need a definite clear answer so that there's no confusion. For that reason, we use the t-test. So let's see what the t-test is in bit more detail. Okay, so a t-test can be of two different types. It can be paired t-test or it can be unpaired t-test. So as the name says, paired, where we have all the values paired, and unpaired, where we have all the values unpaired, they are not related to each other. For example, have a look here. In the first example, in the pair t test, we have uh, various temperature readings. So we have the temperature readings in the morning and in the evening. And we have different places. So now here, what we have, so we, we have the place one. And the place one, we have the temperature reading in the morning and then temperature reading in the evening. Then we have a different place, which is place two. Here we have the morning value and here we have the evening value. So we have the data in pairs. So all these are different places and uh, we have the values of each place in the morning and in the evening. So that's why they are paired. Contrary to this, if you look at the other example, which is the unpaired t-test. So here we have the heights of uh, boys and girls in a class. And uh, both of these are unrelated. So this has no relation with the second value. So they are the randomly placed values. So because they are not paired, they are coming from different values, from different boys, different girls. They are not related to each other. So that's why they are unpaired. OK, now the next question is how to do the t-test in Excel. But before we do that, let me tell you uh, how we're going to interpret the result. So a very important thing that we do in the t-test is a p-value. Let me write here. It's called the p-value. Our ultimate goal is to have the p-value. So once we have the p-value, we can interpret whether our uh, uh, two groups are uh, significantly different, or is there any dif uh, significant difference between the two groups or not? So normally, uh, what we do is we do at 95% confidence interval, confidence level. So uh, a value of 0 0.05. If we have a p-value which is less than 0 0.05, so that means our uh, both the groups have are, are significantly different. That the difference between the two groups significantly. And if the value is more than 0 0.05, so that means there is uh, no significant uh, difference between the two groups. So let's do the one example. So let's start with the um, pair t-test. So what you do, you start here. You click here on the artisan. Click on uh, more functions look for statistical and look for t-test 
Here is the t-test. Click OK. OK, now it's asking for array 1. So array 1 mean the first column. Array 2 mean the second column. The next thing is tail. So tail could be uh, one tailed or two tailed. So one tailed mean we have a reference. Let's say if you want to say that um, compared to the morning, is there any increase or decrease in the temperature in the evening? Or compared to the evening, is there any change in the morning temperature? So here we are setting our reference. But if we don't set a reference and we just say, is there any difference between the temperature in the morning and evening? Here we don't have any reference. We are not talking about any reference. We are just interested. Is there any difference between these two? So in that, that would be uh, two-tailed. But if you set a reference, they say, compared to morning, is there any uh, increase in the temperature in the evening? Then uh, we are setting a reference, the morning as a reference. So that would be one-tailed. So here, since we want to, um, we, we want to know what is it, is there any uh, difference in the temperature between the morning and the evening? So we will use two. That means this is um, two-tailed. And finally, we have the type. So type means this is basically whether it's a paired or unpaired. Uh, and we can we know that this is paired. So for paired, we use um, one. As you can see here, paired it as one. So we use here type one. And then we click OK. And here we get the value. I will remove this. OK, so here we have the p-value. So as you can see, the p-value is 0 0.029. So this is less than uh, 0 0.05. So this means uh, uh, there is a significant difference between the morning and evening temperature. OK, now move on to the um, unpaired t-test. So we'll again do the same way. Let me just copy this. Right. So we'll again click here, go for the more functions statistical and come down and look for t-test click on the t-test again we will add a one and add a two add a one we use the first column add a two we use the second column tail test again um, we are not interested in um, comparing boys with the girls um, uh, so we just want to see is there any difference between the heights of the boys and girls. We're not saying are uh, girls better than boys. We're not setting any reference. Or are boys better than girls? So that will be a two-tailed test. So we'll put here two. Type is a pair or unpair. We know that's unpair. So in unpair, we have two options, option two and option three. Um, so if there is an equal variance, then we use uh, option two. And if there's an unequal variance, we use option three. But this will get complicated what the variance is, so I'm not getting into that detail. So the easiest is just use the, if you're not sure, then use uh, the option three. So we'll put here type three. So basically, we'll be using either type one for the paired and type three for the unpaired. And then click OK. And here we go. So this is, uh, um, 0 0.024 and that value is also less than uh, 0 0.05 so that means there is a significant difference between the heights of the boys and the girls so this is how we do the uh, t-test uh, i hope that gives you some idea uh, how to do a t-test in excel if you like the video uh, please uh, like and subscribe uh, and share and if you have any question please ask me in the comment section thank you very much bye